Hi friends! Um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Emily or Quaffle Doodle as you might know. Today we are using the Ratatouille pen mic. I got it at Disney last year. Today I wanted to film a little artist alley tutorial for y'all of how I make my displays. This is the easiest and cheapest way that I've made all my displays. Um, I do go through them quite often because I do travel a lot. Um, so this is a way that I don't have to keep outsourcing and buying them. Just a disclaimer though that this is how I do it. Not everybody does it the same. Um, I would also use materials that are readily available to you so you don't have to go out and buy everything. The very first step is that you actually have to design your asset. I do not recommend just going on Google and just using whoever's image. Um, you do not have permission to use their images unless you buy the stock image. Um, so yeah, I just recommend that you design your own. I personally do mine on Procreate uh, and then you can also reuse these assets later on. It doesn't have to be a one and done thing for your display. Um, so you can always just use these for your branding later on as well. So I design all of mine on Procreate, but you can use whatever you want. You can use Clip Studio, Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator or whatever you prefer. One tip I do have is I do not recommend writing what your info is. Um, like if you have, if you're making a sign that says pricing or what the item is, for example, stickers, um, three dollars each. Um, yeah, I do not recommend using your handwriting unless you know it's legible. And using a font in general will just make your display look cleaner overall. So here is everything you'll need. So you need a printer. I'm assuming most people do have one, but if you do not, you can always go to Walgreens or like Office Depot and then get your stuff printed there. For me, I use a Canon Pixma Pro 200 and it prints up to 12 by 18, I believe. So I can make signs pretty big. But again, if you don't have a printer or a printer that size, then you can always just outsource the print. So then there's also sticker paper. Um, this is only if you need it or if your print is small enough. For me, my print is pretty large for my display so it doesn't fit on a letter size sheet of sticker paper but if your sign is relatively smaller then you can just print it on sticker paper and it'll save you the hassle of gluing it onto the board next you'll need is foam board or cardboard if you have either laying around however i do prefer foam board over cardboard because cardboard tends to have like the ability to bend more because it's more corrugated um, so just keep that in mind that when you're traveling with it it might bend a little bit i get my foam board at a local art store rather than the dollar store just because it's higher in quality and i bought a 40 by 60 inch sheet for about 15 dollars and then i can use that over time rather than having to constantly go out and buy foam board. Again, I would just use whatever is readily available to you or whatever is more affordable. I know people tend to have more cardboard laying around. Um, I would also recommend that you use a sturdier foam board. Um, I've used the dollar store ones and they tend to bend a little easier because the foam inside isn't as thick. Next you'll need is laminate, but this is also up to you. Um, you don't completely need it, but it does help the display last a little bit longer. Next you'll need is a cutting mat. Personally I just use a rug on my floor. I used to use the carpet in my house actually um, just because I didn't have a big enough cutting mat but I recommend you getting a cutting mat or somewhere safe where you can actually cut through the foam board. And then you will need a glue stick or spray adhesive and double-sided tape. I do not like using the spray adhesive because it gets all like gross and it sometimes damages the print because like it like sprays out too much sometimes so just keep that in mind that it's a little bit messier but that just might be user error because i really don't know how to use it and it just gets everywhere every time so yeah i just stick to a glue stick because it's easier for me you'll also need an exacto knife or a hot knife a hot knife will cut through the board easier but an exacto knife works perfectly fine i do not recommend a box cutter though because a box cutter is not really made to cut through foam board and then I'm also too scared to use the hot knife. I've used it before, but it just gets really scary to use. So I preferably just use an X-Acto knife. And lastly, you'll need scissors. So like I mentioned, the very first step is designing your asset. Like I said, I designed mine on Procreate, but you can use whatever you want. Here, I'm actually just using a design I already had. And then I'm just adding some text to it so people get an idea of what the product is. And then so once you have your asset created, um, you go ahead and print it. 
I'm using my Canon PIXMA Pro 200 on some matte paper and then I'll go ahead and print that. The next step is I glue my print onto the foam board. Here again I'm just using a glue stick but you can use whatever you like. After I lay down the layer of glue, I'll actually go around the edges where I think the print will lift from the foam board and then add some double-sided tape. This is just to keep it from lifting. The glue stick or the spray adhesive tends to loosen over time so the tape really just holds it together so it'll last a little longer. Here I'm laminating the print. Um, I do just buy a roll of laminate on Amazon. I'll link whatever I use below. This doesn't have to be perfect. Mine always messes up. Know that people are not gonna read into the little details of like the messed up laminate, the little air bubbles, so it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. And then you'll cut out your design. Um, I like to add a little border around mine. And here I actually messed up a little bit. Um, the border is a little bit too close to the words for my preference so I do wish that I went out a little bit more but again people are not going to read into the mistakes that much. You're your own worst critic so don't feel too bad if you mess up. I recommend cutting it at a slight angle this will cut through the foam board easier. Just be really careful that you're cutting slowly. You'll probably want the clean edges of, of the cut uh, but you can easily clean this up later with some scissors or sandpaper. So yeah just take your time when you're cutting it out and just be careful. Again go slow <laughs> and then once you have it cut out then you have your display um, sometimes I like to add on this little backboard so it can actually be a free standing display so what I actually do is I take a scrap piece of foam board and make sure it's straight at the bottom just so it stands better and then I'll just tape it onto the backboard with some tape um, this is craft tape but it's pretty sturdy you tape both sides to it so then it can bend but it's also sturdy so now you're finished with your display. Um, I highly recommend that when you travel with these that you wrap them up in something, um, whether it's bubble wrap or your tablecloth, just so it lasts a little longer. I hope the video was actually helpful for y'all. Again, there's multiple ways you can actually build these displays. This is just how I like to do it where it's affordable for me. So yeah, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below. I will also link everything that I use in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!